Well, all right, all right, all right. I don't even hear myself. Am I here? Do I exist? There I go. I hear me now. There we go. And very little delay. Yay. Hold on a second. You guys were expecting some fabulous uh, big open? Well, unfortunately, nah. Haven't done that yet, but we're working on it. It's going to be pretty cool. Welcome. This is called the Good Beans Coffee Clutch. And I have no idea why I called it that, but I, well, I do have an idea. So that wasn't true. That wasn't true. I'm going to take that back. I, I heard it somewhere. I, I, I understand a clutch to be a gaggle of, a group of, um, like hens, uh, talking back and forth. You guys let me know if I'm wrong. I, I guess I could look it up. I got all these computers here, but that would be no fun. I'd rather you guys tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> and then we'll change the name. Who cares? All right. Let me see what we got going on in here. I, I figured I better find something to do while we waited for people to join us. So the first thing I did was I poured a cup of coffee. Uh, well, it's a beer stein, but that's some good black juice right there. Um, I guess I should have the bag. So we, it's a coffee show. I should talk about it. So if somebody shows up, I'll run. I'll grab the bag. Oh, yeah. I cheated this morning. I put a little sugar in my coffee. And I haven't been putting sugar in my coffee for a good long time. So listen, while I sit here and uh, see if anybody joins us, I am going to, well, I'll turn that down for, you can hear that. Okay, that's what's, com that's what's coming up next. That's what's coming up next. So we're both on that one for some reason in my ears. And I can't see audio, but I'm assuming it's going out if it's coming back through my headset. So... Let's see what happens. I'm not watching it, though. I should watch it somewhere to see if somebody sees it. I could do that. Maybe. All right. So what I'm doing is I am rebuilding Flint. Let me take myself. Unless I'm in there. Nice. All right. So what's going on here that the rebuilding cam isn't showing? So is, I'm not directing from this one as well. Let's see. Stand by. Let's stop the screen sharing. And then start it. And we're gonna share the application window. And share. There we go. There we go. So you guys don't know what you're looking at, mm, but I do. Welcome to Flint, Michigan. Believe it or not. This is what this is a game called City Skylines, and I really like it. See, this is Thread Lake, the golf course over over there, and I believe that makes this this is Dort Highway. This is Dort Highway. Oh, I get so confused, but I know this is 69, 475. We got our East Village over here. So. I've been working on this a while, and of course, it's not even close to what I want, um, but I've spent the most time really teaching myself how to do this. Uh, this is downtown, the parking lots, and Saginaw Street. I got the 
bus station in the wrong spot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. No, 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 that's right. Because there's a bus station, there's a parking lot in that little building, then another parking lot. It's these parking lots that I haven't built yet. These are the ones. Oh, they should, but they were there. Ah. Come say, come say. All right. So this is Saginaw Street here. If you can see this cursor. And this is that flat lot. Oh, here's a flat lot. And then uh, the best I could do for um, Water Street Pavilion. I got to work on that. I, I put a skateboard park there just for the heck of it. So it's not as accurate as it could be, but it's getting there. I had to have some fun. Um, we got the Flint River. I did do Max Brandon Park. I think I turned Max Brandon Park into an amusement park. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But that's, this is, oh, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? This is Max Brandon Park. Yeah. So what was also cool about this is when they um, decided they wanted to re-envision uh, 475 and the removal of 475, I was able to come in here and do it. Uh, I wish I could, I think I know what I named it. Let's see. Let's see. I got time. I got time. I got time. Uh, bah, 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 Flint nose forzen. What better name than that? <laughs> Let's see how long this baby takes load. Yeah, you're if you're out there, you're in the uh good beans coffee clutch with Paul Herring here, looking for some of my good bean friends to jack in and say hello, maybe tell me a joke, tell me how cute I'm in. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, talk about the council meeting or actually the rally this morning. There's a, supposed to be in a rally down at City Hall. Um, I'd like to know how that went. Yes, indeed. All right, she's loading up. So I'm going to play over here. I should be able to drag that over there. Nope. But that makes me full screen. So I'm running this off of a, a Mac mini computer. And because I'm doing that, um, because I'm doing that, it's not strong enough to, uh, to work the green screen magic that I wanted it to. So I don't know if I can turn off my green screen light. If that helps, uh, it just puts me in the dark. That puts me in the dark. Let's see what this one does. I like that a little more even, uh, even light there. So, uh, yeah, forgive the green screen, but it was a must, a must, 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 must. Um, I should be able to see what's going on with that, but I cannot. So I need to go back to this and drag that to that. So it looks like when I take off of that screen, I have to reshare, which I'm not against. I can do that. Um, oh no, it looks like, uh, what you call it, quit. <laughs> That's why she's not up. She quit on me. Hold on a second, let me take a look. Yeah, Steam is running, but uh, uh, City Skylines is not. She did not want to jump into that game from that station. So stand by. I guess I could share the screen, right? I'll share the screen. You can see what I'm doing. Um, what do I got on my desktop? I don't want anything incriminating on my desktop. We're good there, good there, good there, good there, good there. Ah, oh, everything's good. Okay, so we can share that. Boom. Share. All right. So I will put that in the screen, and I will take out this one. And yeah, that's kind of strange, but it's okay. It's okay. So I've got two stream yards, a new tab. 
And I've got to get uh, City Skylines back up running. Let's do that. Uh, through Steam. Window. Steam. There we go. I'm live. Okay. So you don't want me to help you with this? Because I need your information. Oh, with this. Okay. Stand by. Yep. I'll be back. That's more than more important.
Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Paul, how are you? Man, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> awesome. Enjoying and, and just enjoying myself. I decided to play with City Skylines while I waited for people to join. This uh, cup of coffee was uh, full when I started. <laughs> right. Nice. Yeah, you know, uh, since I couldn't get my tankard, mm, I had to improvise. Imp there you go. Improvise. So it looks like you're down there in the back room. I am. I'm in the office. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try putting some headphones on here. Okay. Cool. But I don't know what that'll do to my microphone. I don't know if that'll cut me out. Um, are you on a phone? I'm on my phone, yeah. No, you should be fine. I uh, wanted to... Uh, the headphones have a mic in it, and it will take over. Or if the headphones don't have a mic in it, the uh, phone should as he disappears from the stream. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Let's see. This is still there. So let's put her up. And oh, that was it. That was it. That was it. Huh. You know, I want to say I know I have another one. But that thought it was pretty cool. I guess an aerial shot. If I can find one. There we go. So yeah, that's what it would look like if 475 was gone. So I'm guessing you dropped your phone. I just uh, touched uh, the screen and it went away. So, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I uh, and so I put my headphones on and I can hear you much better now. So wonderful, wonderful. Let me pull this right. out. Remove. There you go. There you go. Well, actually, I could have left it in. I was talking about um, 475. You heard about okay. the plan to uh, pull 475 out? Uh, they're going to raise it up, yes, or something? Either, I don't know. I don't know if they planned on sinking it or raising it or removing it and turning it into a Grand Ave. Right. Yeah. So I don't know either. I know that there was some talk about it a month or a month and a half ago, and Then nothing. I don't know if, if it's still going on. It was uh, something somebody wanted commentary on, be it the mayor or a task force or something. But uh, I don't know where it went from there. Right. Actually, the that last meeting was like the third meeting or something like that that they had on it. Okay. And uh, it was a virtual meeting, so I know it's back out there online somewhere on YouTube. Oh. All right. That they were talking about uh, the possibilities. I don't know. I, I kind of like the idea of a new look, a new face, uh, a additional Main Street, if you will. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know what it does for the north side or the east side or the west side or the south side, but it surely positions uh, the downtown to become a bigger commerce center. Because we're like saturated in the downtown area now, right? Mm, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't quite sure where it all was going to or coming from. Uh, there was like a thirteen billion dollar price tag or something, or some kind of I, I don't know the actual number, but um, uh, a huge infrastructure number that I thought was kind of weird that. You know, okay, is this part of the fix the damn roads? Is this where the money is coming from? Or is this just, uh, you know, uh, uh, a sit around and hope for something? Or is this got some real meat to it? And and if it does, I mean, I guess I wasn't quite sure what the point would be in raising 475 to put in more businesses because I didn't think we were saturated, but maybe we are. 
Well, I don't know that it's necessarily for businesses. And when you say raise, are you talking elevate or raise yes. as in destroy? No. Correct. Elevate. <laughs> right. Right. Because I thought that was the whole idea. They're going to raise or elevate 475 up so that you create square footage of land. Well, to... but the 475 is already sunken. So I don't right. think it would make any sense to raise it. I would think it would make more sense to cover it. You know what I mean? If you had to lower it down a little bit, it would be cheaper than raising it above ground level because it's sunk. Right. I'd always thought they were going to fill all that in and, and make a road with uh, businesses uh, right there next to it. But maybe right. I'm wrong. Well, no, no. I didn't understand either whether it was uh, 475 was still going to be operational as a right. tunnel or if it was just going to be filled in, flattened. And really, uh, it seems to me, just give the University of Michigan more land space. I don't know who owns the highway. Who well, again, the state that's, has to own it. Well, that's where I was. Uh, I was questioning where the funding was coming from. You know, is it a is it a county road? Is it a state road? Uh, and and if it is, then does that pool of money come from a different set of uh, taxes per se? You know, and and again, you know, Granholm ran on that. Let's fix the damn roads concept, right? And I think she put a lot of money into that concept or that right. platform. And I'm thinking that somewhere along the line, somebody's found a, 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 a pool of money to do this sort of thing. But again, I, I'm, I'm not enough onto the concept to understand it. Well, I like I like speculating. This is all right. right. As long as we say it's it's my opinion, and and I don't know that I know what I know, but I know Correct. what I don't know, and I don't right. know this <laughs> right and it all goes great with a cup of coffee and and a, and a, and a coffee hot exactly so. <laughs> i think it would be amazing i mean well i guess you could do the same i don't know i'm impressed with the amount of construction that's going on in the city of flint i don't know if you are or not but every time i drive up a road that I haven't been up, it looks better. Yeah. You know what I mean? It looks better. There's burnout houses are gone. There's straw on fields where they're trying to grow grass or ground cover. Uh, Saginaw Street, North Saginaw Street has several construction projects going on it right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, they finished the apartments downtown where the Y used to be. There's a duplex right. going up between Grand Traverse and Garland Street. Oh, what else? What else have I seen? But on the same token, every time I turn down a street I haven't been down, it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it hard to get around Flint? Hmm. No, I guess not. I guess I'm not necessarily... Uh, seeing that, although, yeah, right over on, uh, is it Atherton Road? No. Atherton is a mess. Yeah. Yeah. But right I mean, there by the progress. Well, it is. No, I mean, that's, you know, there's a reason that people hate the orange barrel season, but there's another reason when people love driving on a fresh, freshly tarred road, you know, I mean, it's, I, I, you can't have one without the other. So I, um, Agree. I had one of my clients, <laughs> Richard Allinger, asked me to drop him off at Applegate to pick up his car yesterday. Yes, right. And that was almost impossible. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> so that's my little back road area to get over to Dort Highway or Center Road, you know? Right, right. Uh, I always, through? yep. I just take that way. I don't know why, but I just always have. Uh -huh. And, uh, and I've had to do it twice. Uh, over this last week, and it's like, dang, what's going on and over here? No easy way around it. There's no. There really isn't. Here. You got to yeah. go all the way that way, or all the way back down, uh, dang the twelfth. Yes, right, right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I um, I don't know if you know. I don't watch the local news. Do you watch local news? Uh, well, once in a while. I mean, if it's on, I do. 
So I I'm see assuming it. I'm assuming local news is covering this construction boom here in the city of Flint. And if well, they're not, then I'm going to claim a conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't re I don't see it on local news. The construction boom sort of uh, coverage, but uh, uh, I don't see it anywhere else either, really. So, Have you been keeping up on the lawsuit settlement? Lawsuits. Uh, let's see. The water Ooh. lawsuit, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, not really, but oddly enough, I'm a big YouTuber, right? Okay. So I, I pay a lot of attention to YouTube. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, my algorithm... Uh, prompts me to watch the uh, Frontline Flint Water Crisis program. Wow. And it's, and it's weird because I'm watching it, and I watch the whole thing, and my buddy from Lansing sends me a link, texts me a link to watch this show on uh, YouTube because he got the same sort of prompt. And I thought it was kind of strange. Is he in Flint? He's in Lansing. So they right? might have just did a 50-mile radius of Flint Maybe. feed their story to because of this uh, litigation that's Monday. Oh, it's coming up like it's Monday. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the council has to vote on it Monday, and I think oh. the judge has got to do it on the 21st or something like that. Don't, don't count my dates as correct. So they're talking about – so I saw like a $6.9 million – Purse. I don't know what that means. You mean six hundred? Uh, yes. I think it's six ninety, six hundred and something million dollars. Right. But I don't know what all that means. I just saw that that's out there. So there's so much. Somebody suing somebody, right? Everybody's suing everybody. And <laughs> my only problem with it is that the people that are doing the suing are the same people that said we didn't have a crisis uh, uh, instituted a emergency manager law then okay. bypassed the vote of the people when they voted not to have the emergency law by installing a emergency 2.0 and now mm -hmm. these are the people we're supposed to trust with our uh, our litigation now, mind you, the city's got lawyers, the state's got lawyers, and everybody else has lawyers. But settling with those folks seems irrational. Yeah. There, there shouldn't be no need for settlement. Yeah. And, and heaven forbid I agree with Eric Mays, there should be no reason for me to show proof that I'm damaged. Merely that I was here and experienced the what has been claimed racial discrimination uh, caused by the state is weird. You yeah. know, they had that they they called it the, the tribunal, and they determined that it was racially motivated. Uh, the emergency manager law, the water, the whole nine. Um, I remember the memo. That said, we can't lose this to Eric Mays. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were they, they called him by name. Wow. And said that this guy isn't worth saving. Wow. You know, so that memo alone showed malice uh on the part of the state. Uh, right. so it's confusing. The 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 city is being sued and can be sued because I mean it's kind of like you got to sue the city so the city city can sue the state. It was the same with like Comcast when I was working with Comcast and they were messing with public access. Okay. Well, I was only a user. You know, I mean the contract was between the city and Comcast. So if I wanted to do any legal action, I'd have to sue the city. And that would force the city to sue Comcast. Ba -da -ba -ba. Wow. So we're kind of in the same situation here. Everybody in the city of Flint can sue the city for the damages. And then that's going to make the city of Flint have to sue blah, blah, blah. But from what I heard from the attorneys, they were like, there's not an attorney on the planet that's going to take this case after this settlement. Hmm. The, the value is gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
Or is it that they want their 33 and a third percent right now and, and don't want to risk losing it, which is another thing. If, if the lawyers are worried about losing their commission, we should be worried about losing something. If yeah. they, you know, they think this is the best they can do. I don't know. Yeah. Are, are, yeah. Are, are they looking out for us? Are they looking for them? I think it's a combination. I mean, good lawyers are doing both. Right. Um, also, I heard that the, um, or I think, and and I don't want to say I'm absolutely sure, but that the children affected by lead would uh, have their money, um, what did it say, uh, put in a trust until they were 18. Wow. So I'm like, okay. well, who gets the interest on that trust money? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and what happens to the doctor's appointments between now and 18? And the uh, education needed between now and 18 and, and the daycare uh, needed for the caregivers just to get a respite from taking care of lead damaged children. Yeah. Hmm. More questions than answers. More questions. Way more. Right. Right. I kind of felt sorry for city council, you know, yeah. somebody's lying. <laughs> and are they lying a hundred percent? I don't know. You know <laughs> right, what I mean? Right. But if they're lying 30% and these people are lying 15%, that's 45% of lies. <laughs> 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 or, or damn near a half truth. <laughs> right. What's the old adage? Follow the money. Follow the money. Follow, Follow the, the money. money. And we know the only people's money that's going to be unencumbered. The only people that aren't going to have to prove that they have damages in this whole thing is going to be the lawyers. The lawyers are guaranteed their money. Right. Whereas the citizens of Flint are going to have a doctor's note. And they know good and well that there wasn't, well, what I heard, let me say that, that uh, no doctor in the city of Flint was diagnosing people with lead. They wouldn't give you a piece of paper that said that this was because of lead because they can't prove, you know, I understand right. where the doctors are. You can't prove lead damage until it shows itself. Right. You know what I mean? And, and, and the way it shows itself is in my mind, kind of obvious around Flint that these folks are crazy. We just don't think right around here. <laughs> Got to be the lead. It's got to be the water money. <laughs> it's got to be the water. <laughs> mm -mm. Whew. Man, oh, man. So, Marky might be coming home for Christmas. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's in Las Vegas now. He went to. No kidding. What did he do? Okay. He went L.A., Wyoming. Utah, whoa, LA, Hawaii, whoa, LA, Las Vegas. This is all through work, through uh, all through work, uh, all through jobs, all uh, through the, yeah, all through the same that uh, he's doing wow. restaurant impossible. Okay, yeah, it might, one of my new favorite shows. Okay, <laughs> I haven't even seen. Is it? It's. It's on live TV, isn't it? I don't think it's on. It's an internet stream. I've I, I've heard of it, but uh, I don't know enough about it. Oh no! And I know they did, they did one in Davison. They came to some restaurant in Davison, and I I don't want to say it was the one on Irish or Belsey, Bubba's. I don't know which one it was. But what they do is they take a restaurant that's not doing well, okay. and they go in and remodel it. Yeah, redesign the menu, retrain the cooks, and then rebrand it. Like a, a Ramsey's, uh, exactly. Hell's Kitchen, not Hell's Kitchen, but his uh, kitchen twenty-four hour makeover or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, nice. So he's a uh, crew for that. Is that the idea? He's, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. on crew for that. I don't know what his official role is. AC, PC, DC, QC. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> Gets him uh, moving around the country. Wow, that's awesome. 
Yeah, I don't. I think he's enjoying it. I think he's enjoying it. But he says they, they work him like a dog. They work him I like bet. a dog. But... I bet. Uh, and they well, test and they know. Like I'm, I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's incredible. See, that's the thing. He's got a work ethic. Yeah. So, and I'm sure once they see that, they're like, "Oh, no! Don't ask. Don't ask Tim. <laughs> ask Marky. Marky, you'll get <laughs> you get done. you get Marcus on it because he'll take care of it. I can. Exactly. I know that. I know it. <laughs> Well, actually, that's why he's still working. You know, a lot I'm of people sure. in the industry are not. Yeah. So, you know, going that extra <laughs> extra mile. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> when no, he called me uh... from Wyoming, he was out in the middle of nowhere, dude. It was, <laughs> they sent him on a run to Walmart, and it was two and a half hours. Whoa, to Walmart. To nearest Walmart. Woo, yeah, that is out in the middle of nowhere. Man, <laughs> your nearest Man. Walmart's two and a half hours away. Dude, tumbleweeds <laughs> wouldn't even roll. <laughs> 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 we got nowhere to go, fellas. Just sit here. <laughs> I know. Once, uh, once I reopen here, I can't wait to use the PC did for us. I've shared it with a couple people, and they're just like, "Oh my God, that's awesome!" Isn't so, that fabulous? Yeah I, yeah, I was looking for it. I wanted to tease with it here, but he said it's in L.A. Uh, oh, his copy. Oh, his yeah, copy. yeah. He says I've it's got back it in his laptop. Somewhere in my email, I think, is where he sent it to me. But, yeah. He really had fun doing that. No, I know. It was a blast. I had fun doing it. it was... And he spent, uh, uh, he spent a bunch of time. He did all the stuff you're supposed to do. He colorized it. He uh, uh, sound, you know, he... Sound right. matched it so that the clankers hit when the clankers were supposed to hit, and the steam yeah. hit when the steam. He did a really good job. I'm impressed. No, I know it. It's it is. It's really awesome. I asked him to do something for me, and he said, "Nah." <laughs> <laughs> well, he you said, know, I don't like right. you as much as Mr. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, I think that's the way it's supposed to work. You know, dads, moms and dads. Yeah, right. You, yeah, you know, I'll do nah. something. Nah, this is, I, I can't I, I can't get a free coffee from you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that is delicious. That is delicious. So I'm trying to decide what today holds. I finally got the fence fixed. Oh, uh, you know, I okay. put this fence up. I got the whole yard enclosed, right? Oh, and nice. And the dogs are still escaping. The dogs are still escaping. Oh, I couldn't yeah. figure out where. I figured there was a hole underneath the fence somewhere. So I walked the fence. I walked the fence. There's nothing. Then I get to the back corner, and there's a piece of lattice that's maybe an inch away from the fence unsecured. Okay. Those little punks stuck their heads behind that lattice and squoze through a one by one and a half inch space to get out. Yep. So you know yep. how I found it. <laughs> I let them out and I crossed my fingers and they, those sons of guns, they ran right there and started trying <laughs> to get out. And I said, oh, no, you don't. And yeah. I took the screw gun and... <laughs> take, we'll take care of that right now. Yeah. So there were three breaches in the fence altogether that have been uh, found and filled. So nice. we're on phase four of fence nice. test two. <laughs> <laughs> With our fingers crossed. Right. <laughs> Oh, I well, blame the big dog. Uh, yeah. Newton was doing really good until Sir got here. Yeah. And being the, the, problem, the, the two of them. The problem is, once they catch on to what you're doing, they're not going to show you where they get out. Right. They'll, they'll, uh, that'll be uh, their secret. Right. <laughs> just right. Walk around in circles. Is he still there? Yep, he's still looking. <laughs> Not yet. Well, that's, that's what the security cameras will get then. I might have to add <laughs> one more. Right, right. So I can watch him from afar. <laughs> I had thought about just tagging them. I really want to put a video camera on these dogs. Oh. But, you know, right now, if I were to hang one around their neck, I'm thinking all I would get is the ground. 
and oh, jowls because yeah. they spend most of their time with their head down. Yeah. If yeah. I made it too loose to hang, it would swing too much to be worth anything. Right. So I, it's like I want to strap one to the side or to their forehead. <laughs> You're going to have to. Uh... Nailing, nailing a camera somewhere on the dog. I wonder if You're Velcro to... and glue would work. You're going to have to strap an antler onto their head and, and then, then attach it. What, what are we, where are we at? Attach it yes. like right up here. Between the <laughs> antler so that. See, I <laughs> yeah. thought about that, but I'm figuring that's the first fence they're going to get stuck in. Oh, whenever absolutely. Whenever they try to go under. Yeah. Or they'll shake their head and rip it off or something. It gives them leverage. Yeah, they could uh, yeah. They could do that. I don't there know. you I go. Seen... That's your that's your next million dollars. You got to figure out that, and then call it the uh, the doggy GoPro attachment or something. They have it. They have it. Oh man, of course. They um, do. I want to say it's <laughs> not a GoPro. I think Sony has it. It's okay. a um, what do I want to call it? One of those four point harnesses that go over the front arms and the back legs, and it has a mount point on the back. Okay. Yeah. So it's looking over the dog's head. You get the dog's head bouncing in front of the camera. <laughs> $422. I don't know. Yes, of course. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I said, uh, I want to send Sister Janice a picture of it and see if she can make me one. Oh, yeah. There you go. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Might be able to do that. That would be good. <laughs> I, I've always wanted to just voice the video of the dog, you know, with all the sniffing and licking they do. I think we could get pretty hilarious. <laughs> right. Right. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? <laughs> yes, uh, on, Yeah, unfortunately, you'd get a lot of butt smelling, probably. <laughs> it's like handshaking. I don't understand right, why right. people yeah. can't relate it to something. That's how they shake hands. Yep. These right. over here are liquors. <laughs> They lick everything. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Everything. <laughs> Isaac was itching his back. He itched it to the point where it was raw. So I was wow. experimenting with uh, some food. Actually, I wasn't experimenting. I went to I take him to the dog wash over at Magoo's free plug, and it so happened to be free dog wash day. Where you went? And not only was it free dog wash day, Lost but it was dog wash. Like, huh? What'd you say about? I can't hear you. Know if it's Can me. you hear me? Testing. One, two. One, two. Mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen. Can't hear you. Still can't hear you. I hear you saying you can't hear me. Hold on. Let me see what I've done. I think you did it. It's on your end. I got, I've got Still audio here. Still cannot hear you. Make sure. I have audio. I'm good. I'm good. It's you. <laughs> no, I'm good. It's you. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> you can't hear me. Not through your head. Plug your headphones in. Everyone can see and hear you. It says. Yeah. Check your plug. There you go. <laughs> we lost it. <laughs> we should have figured that out. We should have figured that out. That was going to happen. So, um, those of you watching, later. And not now. You can join us next Friday, 11 a.m. for the Good Beans Coffee Clutch. Grab you a cup of coffee, stop by, either drink the whole cup with us, or just check in and say hello. It's the Good Bean Coffee Clutch right here on Facebook, WFOV 92.1 LPF in Flint, and Spectacle Productions on YouTube. Um. Also, if you've got an idea for a show or a live stream or want to do some of the things that we do here at Spectacle Productions, feel free to give us a call at 810-239-2901. I love this delay in my ear. I'm getting better at it. I am. I am. And actually, without Ken in here, there he is. Let's see what happens this time. Drum roll, please. Yep. I can there hear he you. is. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. I figured yeah, it was on your go. end. I checked my audio. It was weird because I got a text and then all of a sudden everything cut out. So it looks that's like what you, that's what happens when you have a flip phone, Ken. 
<laughs> it can't do three things at the same yeah, time. Yeah, well, you know, I'm upgrading to a BlackBerry next week. So, are you really? <laughs> no, no. I was about to say that's super impressive, Ken, because yeah. you were uh, like the last person I knew that yep. didn't have a real phone. Yep. And when yep. you upgraded, I was just like, well, it's over. <laughs> Now, did you hear that my uh, that Ted Jankowski passed away? What? No. Yes. yes. Oh, no kidding. I'm so he sorry did. to hear that. Oh, man. It was just uh, unexpected. Mm. It wasn't COVID. No kidding. Yeah, it wasn't COVID. I mean, I actually, he was. I talked to him Wednesday. He was supposed to be on the show Friday. I got a call Thursday. Said that wow. He, he had passed away. Like yesterday? Uh, about. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, I did not hear that. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what happened? Heart attack or something? Or? No I want to say it was an aneurysm, but it wasn't in his brain. It was like a heart artery. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just, and he was in the hospital when it happened. Whoa. You know what I mean? So, you would think he'd have some kind of survival rate, but the doctor said, there's nothing they can do once that thing blows up like that. It's just you can't do anything. Wow. But the, I, the sad part about it is it is that his benefits would have kicked in had it happened in a VA hospital. But because he was in the Memorial Hospital, his benefits don't take effect like they would. Benefits for what? For veterans, I, I don't know about exactly, but I was talking to his girlfriend and she was explaining that had it happened at the VA hospital, they would have done this and that and another thing for him and the family, as opposed to what happened because he died at a memorial hospital. Wow. So they're planning to uh, have a memorial for him in the spring. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, keep me uh, 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 apprised of it. I mean, will will something be done here or only out there? Um, his mom had the body flown back here, oh. and they had a small viewing for the family and and some close friends. And I, and I know Judge okay. Mirable went, and okay. I told him I was fine with not going. I just. Yeah. I'd rather remember him the way I remember him. You know what I mean? Same. I don't need to see no. the body. Nope. Agreed. Agreed. I told him I, I, I made my peace with it. and yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. No, he lives here. You know, I mean, that's lives in your mind. So exactly. It's, it's, exactly. Uh, and you pollute it with that last image in the casket. Yeah. It really just changes the whole photo album. Yeah. It really uh, does. But unfortunately, well, Ken, I'm getting used to death. Believe it or not. <laughs> but I've always been comfortable with it. You know, I understand that it's going to happen. I've always know that I was going to not be here eventually. But right. uh, doing these funerals, live streaming these funerals, and having to look at the obituaries on a constant basis... Has uh, I guess sunk the point home, man. Well, it's uh, it it certainly uh, uh, makes you uh, or uh, uh, addresses the mortality part of of uh, of your conscience. That's for sure. I mean, we live and live and live and think, oh yeah, I'm just going to live forever. Uh, but then all of a sudden, yeah, hey, you know, right? Someone hey, either hey. passes that you knew that was close to you or. Uh, you know, you get a diagnosis or something, and it's like, oh, I guess I'm not a, a mortal. I guess so. Well, that's kind of the thing that that's the worst part for me, you know what I mean? If you get a diagnosis or something, you kind of can plan and prep for it, you know what I mean? But right. like, yeah, he was planning on going to movies that night, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it was, yeah. it was just boom, gone, gone. And that's not to take into account, you know, un, un useless violence in the community, taking folks out. Um, there's just yeah. all sorts of ways. So you really, when you close your bed, when you close your eyes at night, you got to say thank you. Yeah. And when you open them in the morning, 
you got to say thank you. <laughs> and then when you're able to close them again at uh, night, <laughs> right? I've been saying right. thank you a lot. And please don't kill me today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's also only because you don't know what's on the other side. I mean, you might be saying, if you knew, you might be saying, man, why didn't you take me last night? I was ready. <laughs> I was you ready. Know? I mean, I was ready. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> listening to a comedian and he said his uh his mom was mad that she wasn't dead every time he would visit i don't know what he's waiting for i'm ready to go <laughs> my, my bags are packed <laughs> i'm starting to get pissed i'm gonna sit here two more days. i'm jumping out the window son i'm jumping <laughs> i've always been a i've been a kevorkian fan since he started i think uh, we should all be allowed to take our own lives if we want to. Yep. Uh, better than getting stuck up in this medical. I told you they tried to Absolutely. take my brother's house, right? Uh, no, I don't think so because I thought that's the one thing they can't take is your house. Wait a minute. We got somebody in here, Ken. What? Taco Mania. She's saying, hi. How's it going? <laughs> I have a question. Oh, <laughs> ask the, it. Uh oh, wrong keyboard. Ask taco it. maniac. Yeah. Okay. You know a taco mania? I don't. I uh, I I see it too here. Taco maniac. I have yeah. a question. Well, my brothers. In um, to the long story short, my brother had back surgery. The back uh, got infected. He had a uh, allergic reaction to all the drugs they put him in. Ended up uh, making him lethargic. Called an ambulance. Took him back to the hospital. They found out that the back surgery was botched and it was infected. They sent him to a nursing home to recover. Okay. Uh, at the nursing home, discovered it was still infected, that they didn't get it the first time. So they took him back to the hospital, got it out again. And now they're trying to make him um, sign over his house so that the Medicare can kick in. He can't own a home and get uh, Medicare. Uh, okay crazy and i said i mean that just seems like the biggest scam in the world so i can imagine people at the end of their lives having yeah. being made to make that kind of decision right do i give this to my grandson and my children or do i give it to, i'm not going to say hurley medical center i'm going to say to the medical industry to extend my life for a month a year two years five years and if I get better, where do I live? See, that has to do with having assets. That's that's what that's about, I think. Right. Um, because Sarah didn't have any assets, right? So she was covered. Right. Um, or not covered, but she didn't have anything to lose, so they just cared for her. And she went into a, a facility as well. Uh, for a short time, then she went into it for a long time, but a lot of it has to do with that. But I always thought if you owned your house, that's the one thing they can't take. What it sounds like Medicare or whatever is saying is that it's not that, that he owns it, he can own it, but it's an asset. And as long as he has it, he has to pay for health care. Uh, Mr. Ken? Yep. I got a, uh, this comment's for you. This is not for me. All right. You ready? You ready. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the answer is. You're a whore. I know what the answer is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, see, I guess I should have been on your show a long time ago, Paul. <laughs> I didn't realize this. This is the kind of, <laughs> this is the kind of thing that can happen. <laughs> I'm the new wow. tenure. Oh my God. <laughs> right. <laughs> Somehow I didn't expect that from someone who's uh, 
maniac about tacos, you know. Oh, oh come on now. <laughs> There's all sorts of metaphors there. I'm not even going to go there. Uh, I know. That's a I heard a wonderful joke uh, last night. The guy said, you know, me and my father have been buttonhead since I was in the womb. <laughs> that's nice yeah <laughs> right yes yes <laughs> think about that think about that <laughs> so i surely thought annette o'malley would join us this morning and i'm looking up and it's 1204 we're actually over time ken yep i see that too Man. um well we can keep trying it i mean i i'm not against it uh for sure uh, I wanted to try it on my phone because I don't know if I'll always be here at the coffee house. And it worked, yeah. so so that's cool. Yeah, anywhere you are with your phone, you can do this. Yeah, yeah. All right, maybe we'll uh, promote it a little more. I, I know I sent it out uh, earlier in the week, and then about a half hour before we started, I started spitting it out again. But, well, I was uh, going to... I was going to send it out, and then I thought, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's try total spur yes. of the moment, see what that brings. And then next time, so this week I'll maybe uh, uh, send something out too that says uh, next Friday at eleven or whatever. As seems to work, I, I'm okay with it. So, hey Ken, uh, you got a new girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you know she's a girl, Paul? I do not. Well, Eliza, <laughs> Eliza, and that, that doesn't mean anything anyway, does it? Oh my! Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah, I was going but, by Taco Maniac. So, <laughs> no, I think I might have, you know these are new days. Well, anything yeah, you want to say yeah. as we close out here? Uh, stay safe. Uh, look for our opening, uh, uh, reopening somewhere in 2021. Not sure where. And uh, thank you, Mr. Paul, for having us on Eclectic Ramblings for sure. Oh, always on and, eclectic. Uh, but this is the Good Beans Coffee Clutch. Good every Beans Friday, Coffee Clutch, right. AM, you guys join us. Tell a friend or a friend of a friend of a friend. Just tell people you like. Absolutely. No, no, no. Tell people that like you. <laughs> All right? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> We're gone. The Take state care. of the city address that you posted early, the complete one, Mayor's name, but you can hear the council part. Thanks. Mm. Wait, I listened to that. We'll check. All right, Ken. We're out of here. All right, Mr. Paul. Have a good uh, week. Good sure. weekend. You All guys right. enjoy Ciao. the life you're living. Just until you can live the life. <laughs>